What is Joe Biden doing there? Who wants to wear a Biden t-shirt? We are Team Trump. Make Vietnam great again. Vietnam is already great. Where are you from? Ando. Ando? Yes, sir. No. Ando. I don't think. Cambodia. We are going to experience everything. On our last day in Vietnam, Missy has decided to dress like Vietnamese people who don't wear pants. <laughs> just kidding, guys. They do wear it. They just make you think they're not wearing one. <laughs> don't stop while crossing the road here. That's the advice even Vietnamese people give the foreigners. Look at this Missy. Missy is now getting tired of eating pho for breakfast. So, uh, and ban me. Missy did not like the ban me here because, of course, it's a sandwich. It's uh, it's made of bread. Missy's stomach cannot stomach the bread. So we are having her uh, pick some different breakfast today. English names are also there. One ban me and one fried beef. Okay. All right. Okay. Our ban me is here. See, this is meat, red meat. So when will begin? Well, it's good, but it's a bit bland. Doesn't mean that I can't eat it, or I won't eat it again. It's good that way. But looking at the videos and uh, how delicious it, it appeared in those videos, that expectation is not being met here. Wow. Guys, now there is music also. So we will not shoot a lot. But uh, let's have all the goodness together. Missy wants to buy a bag to carry in her college. So uh, we will check out this shop. This is by the way in the old quarters of uh, Hanoi. So the shops here may be a little more expensive than uh, if you go out of this, this uh, area or maybe out of Hanoi. But we'll, we'll check it out how the prices here look like. Mm. 350. Not not too bad actually, not too bad. Huh. These are all traditional Vietnamese items. Today actually is our last day. Oh, yeah. In the evening we are leaving, otherwise I would have bought one to wear around. <laughs> just uh, for image. Just for image? Yeah. Uh, just for video? Okay. Yeah. Ah, okay, I can do that. <laughs> they, they asked me if I'm a YouTuber and then they would like me to wear this to appear on the video. <laughs> So there's no strap here, or what do you uh, just just keep like this? Yes, yes. Okay. So you can you can add a strap here. Yeah. Ah, that's why you guys you can you can add uh, a strap here. Actually, mm. yeah, people usually use this for wall decoration. Wall decoration. Oh, so this is for wall decoration. Yes. This is for wearing on your head. Yeah. This is two ninety. Two ninety would be thousand Indian, which is a uh, little over ten dollars. Okay. Yeah. We, we will take this one and I saw some keychains here. Keychain. Yeah, we have to check out other shops also. Yeah. Today we are doing market hunt video. So we'll yeah. buy some little things from uh, different shops and check out uh, their shops. Do you use uh, Instagram? Yes, I do. Yes, so I'll follow you. <laughs> okay, I'll give you my Instagram. Give me. Uh, where are you from? I am from Ando. 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 Yes. Oh. This is 200. So that's 150 Vietnamese. We bought this this purse handmade purse for the mom in the rewind there are a bunch of uh, t-shirts there that say i love vietnam what is joe biden doing there who wants to wear a biden t-shirt we are team trump let me see if they have a trump t-shirt how does this open oh it's a sliding door 
Xin chào. Si, Joe Biden. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. I love her. Uh, oh, this is also good. Let me first uh, correct this situation. Hello, how much is this? 150. And do you have Trump? Trump? Do you know Trump? Yeah. Donald Trump? Yes. Yes, I want Donald Trump, not yeah. Biden. Okay, show me that. Or oh, that one. Obama. No, no Obama. No Obama, no Biden. Republicans. Trump is wearing Vietnamese hat. Even better. Yeah. Make Vietnam great again. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Vietnam is already great. When does not like to wear printed t-shirts normally, but then if it's Trump, we can make an exception. Now, this is the medium size, but uh, there's no Trump here. I told him and he said he'll, he'll put Trump on it. It'll take one minute. So I think they're printing the t-shirts here. Now we'll see how they put the print on it. Donald Trump. Good morning, Vietnam. And now we wait. Yeah, I want to wear it now. See, it's it's warm. It's warm Trump. Should I come there? Yeah. Wear a Trump t-shirt. Mm -hmm. Trump. All right, let's pay up now. So that's our purchase from this shop. Come on. This hat really serves good use, especially when you are walking in the sun, and of course in the rain also. I see. When we were going to Sapa, when we were riding, we passed through a lot of villages, and it was raining heavily. And I saw people, women, working in the fields, even going somewhere uh, on the streets, not carrying umbrella, just the, just the hat. Not that it would protect in very heavy rain, but then if, if, just a, if there's just a drizzle, and you have to go somewhere nearby, people would wear this hat. She's looking at some scarf. Oh, the cloth is very good. Wow, yeah, I think it's silk. It, it could be silk. Let's ask the price. How much for this? 80,000 now. 80,000? 80, yes. 80, okay. I was saying 50 would be great. 50? No. Yes. 70. 50. 70, okay. 50, okay. 50. Oh, we should have started <laughs> at 40. But yeah, 50 is good. 50 is good. No. Look at it. <laughs> 50 and your portrait. We'll take a picture. No. No? Yes. I don't think. You don't think? <laughs> not with this one. This is not this is video. Picture. I'll with my phone. Later. We buy this first. Ando. Ando. Yes. Ando. Ando. I don't think. Cambodia. Cambodia. <laughs> Ando. 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 Yes. Get this one. This one? Okay. This one. All right. We are doing market hunt. We want to buy from everywhere. One one item from ev from every shop. Not every shop. Okay. My boss. Okay. Your My boss. boss. Yeah. Okay. I take I take picture of the boss or you? No. <laughs> <laughs> The man is telling me iced tea in Vietnam is called chada. Yeah, yes, chada. What is ice in chada? Da. Uh, yeah. Da is ice. Okay, so tea is cha, which is very, very similar to. We call it chai in India. Chai. Chai. Khasi is yeah. cha. Here it's cha. Take it. Khasi is cha. Where? Cha. In Khasi? Khasi. Yeah, in Khasi is, is cha. 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 Now Khasi people will get angry. Oh, you live in Shillong, you don't know what tea is called in Khasi. Cha, I know. Cha, chai, here also cha, da, cha da. Bye bye. So two iced teas for 10,000 only. And there's some more street food here. And look at these sellers also. They keep the stuff on their bikes, bicycles, and they roam around. People are smiling, waving at us from those cafes. You see everywhere, you will see people sitting outside on the sidewalks and enjoying their meals here. 
This one. Yeah. Two. Hi. Two packets. Hi, hi, boy. Hi, boy. Hi, hi, hi. These are to take back home. For taste. <laughs> yeah. To give them the taste of your thumb. That's two hours. By lot. If they like the secret, secret, secret. What's the pronunciation? Cigarette. Cigarette. <laughs> then you have to come and buy it for them. Yeah, of course we'll come again to this lovely country. We'd love to visit again. Not we would love to, we will visit again. There's no doubt about that. Owen likes to go to places at least twice. I've said that over and over again on this channel. When you visit some place for the second time or the third time, that's when you actually strengthen your connections. And these here are some Vietnamese snacks. Missy wants to check out some Vietnamese. This is like a basin ladu. And we'll have to buy and have it and find out what it is. <laughs> Take the phone. Ask her. <laughs> Missy is going to ask her what that is. Maybe it's made of rice, <laughs> like everything here. That certainly looks like rice. We'll try that. <laughs> Made with sticky rice. Didn't I tell you guys? I will have this now. Okay. Yeah. Look at the texture guys. Look at the texture. You throw it on the wall, it will stick. I think it's sticky rice. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's nice. Sweet. Mm. Not too sweet. Hmm. Well, See, if you want to take it home, will it last for a week? Yes? Uh, one, one week. One week? Yes? Okay. See, was I not telling you people here live in such alleys? So, this is where people are living. There's no shops there. But I just want to go in and see how people here live. So, this is very common. In every building, after every few steps, uh, in between the shops, you will see such alleyways which will lead up to the entrances of their house. You see? And there is another alley here. So when you uh, see a, a homestay or a hotel that has, which is tucked away in uh, one of these alleys or even cafes, some some uh, very famous cafes and eateries are also tucked away in such alleys. So those areas are not uh, shady, as one might think, looking at uh, such alleys. But no, it's very common here. And there's a street barber also. I've just shaved today. Yeah, I'm, I've been shaving every morning. Otherwise, I could get a shave here. Let's still experience it. Do you think I need some shave or trimming? Yeah. Okay. This one, don't don't shave it off. Don't don't shave it off. Some something here, some some hair trimming. Okay. Just for experience, guys. Just just for experience. On a street in Hanoi. This is the first barber that we've seen on the streets of Hanoi. So let's see what he can do with with this face. I think the hair might need some trimming. So let's do it. We're going to experience everything. Oh wow. That's quite a trim. I like it. Because I don't really like this one. It's not like a trim. Hasi people also make haircut like this. Done. Let's see, the beard is done now. Now I'll show you the final product. Wait. This may be 20. 20 would be a fair price. If it's more than 20, I would say it's expensive for a street haircut because in India I think that's how much it would cost if it's on a street can I get this one tissue ah. all right now we just started a live stream on Instagram so Missy will continue with the live stream <laughs> while I will finish the main blog all right how much 
two hundred. It's too much. It can't be two hundred thousand. It's too much. Two hundred is too much. That's a rip off. We can pay him hundred at the most. We are not fools here. Hundred. 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 Too much. No, 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 no. Two hundred is too much. Hundred fifty. Okay. All right. Come on. Guys, for the first time in Vietnam, we've been ripped off paying 150,000 Vietnamese for a haircut. I was expecting it would be around 20,000, which is like a dollar. It could have been 50 also. We would be fine, but this is too much. But anyways, okay. Let's not fight in a in another country. Yep. All right, guys, we are doing a market hunt. So we'll continue with our video and this is it for the live <laughs> where you just saw us getting ripped off. <laughs> Anyways then, bye bye. Thank you, bye. I was I was thinking after uh, I'm done with the haircut, I'll pay him the money and then it'll be so good and so impressive that I'll tell, uh, tell you guys that if I live in Hanoi, I would have a haircut here all the time. But no, we've not been asking prices beforehand because this is not representative of Vietnam as a country. We've always been charged fair price everywhere and you'll see that in our videos. So $8 for a haircut is like a US price. In the US it, it would cost like that. So now people, if you guys are watching from the western countries where the haircut does cost that much, you must think that oh now we are making a big deal out of it. It should cost this much but no. If you look at the prices of everything else in Vietnam, it's just like India. Southeast Asian countries are not supposed to be so costly. The haircuts are not supposed to cost this much. So definitely this is a ripoff, I have no doubt. How much should a street haircut cost here? Sixty. Okay, let me see. Sixty thousand? Yeah? yeah? Okay. Confirmed. Come on. We have been ripped off. See now this is the train street. There's a track here. But uh, there's a security here. So, okay now these people wanted to go. The security is directing them uh, that side. And last time also we entered from there. So once we go, uh, that side where there's a railway crossing, we will see probably some cafe owner standing outside asking people if they want to go and then we have to go with them to their cafe and that's how you can enter the train street and here is the entrance to the train street you see there are so many people standing here and uh, taking selfies with the street with the track and these are the security people you see, I don't see a cafe owner here. <laughs> Nobody is calling us. Normally, uh, you see somebody standing here. And then last time that's what happened. We just arrived here and then somebody called us. Okay, and you see, let's do this thing. We went from, from inside here, right? So let's go there. Maybe we can invite ourselves to one of the cafes from here. Cafe, cafe? Yes? No? Well, discrimination. You want to go to cafe? Yes? Okay, let's go. No, no, they're, they are a little annoyed also. Uh, see, this is not an official entry, guys. Oh, yeah, from here. You see? This is unofficial, so sometimes they also get in trouble. Cafe. Cafe. Okay, here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We have to hide here. See? That's how it works. I think uh, if they openly do it, they also get penalized. No, we... There's no... There's no space there. There's no space. We can go further, Missy. Okay, now there is some space here. Okay. 
It looks beautiful at night. Yeah, it's more beautiful at night. And luckily, at night we were able to explore it more freely. So uh, it's not like we're going to miss it. That vlog is right here. You can watch it right after this one. So let's order something now. One pineapple juice and one Vietnamese coffee. Vietnamese coffee. Cold. Ice. And one pineapple juice. Cold. Okay. Cold. Ice. Alright. I think the train may be coming. So as there the train timings are mentioned. And today is Saturday 3 o'clock. And the train comes between 3.20 to 4.30. So if we sit here for one hour, maybe we will see the train. And our drinks are here now. Although they have not closed the barrier for the road, but they have opened the barrier to the track. So I think the train may be coming now. So we'll just look at the train. And uh, once that is done, then we can go from here. Last time we came here at night, we did see the train. It was just an engine. So this time, let's see what kind of train goes from here. Everybody is getting excited now for the train. People are putting stones on the track. People are putting coins on the tracks. Passing of a train here is like a... What's the word? It's like a cause for celebration for the people here. And the train is coming now. The cafe owners will run around making sure that nobody <laughs> gets hit by the train and dies here. It's happened in the past, that's why so much there is so much restriction now. Everybody is quiet now. It's not smelling at all. Cafes are so close to the train, so it would have been bad if the train smelled, but no, there's no smell at all. So you can safely sit here and enjoy your food and drinks. And now people are taking back their coins. All right, now we'll wrap up this vlog by finishing our drink. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, smash the subscribe button and don't forget the beautiful bell icon as well. Bye bye. Did you get a good one? Yeah, I think so.